For centuries, the Amazon has been a place of myth and legend. Lost cities of gold, giant anacondas, and creatures straight out of nightmares. But what if some of those legends were real? Join us as we explore the wildest, weirdest, and most wonderful mysteries of the Amazon rainforest. From creatures with electric shocks to shocking purple frogs, we're uncovering the secrets this incredible place has hidden for far too long. 15. The Mystery of the Mapinguari Deep in the heart of the Amazon, ancient tribes tell stories of a mysterious creature called the Mapinguari. This giant sloth is said to be over seven feet tall, with tangled hair and a rather unpleasant odor. According to folklore, the Mapinguari can be spotted in the dense jungle, and the Mapinguari is said to be most aggressive toward those who harm the environment. Despite numerous claims from locals who swear they've encountered the creature, scientists remain skeptical. Biologists have scoured remote areas of the rainforest in search of evidence like bones or droppings, but have come up empty-handed. Some experts, like ornithologist David Oren, propose that the Mapinguari legend may be rooted in the memory of the Megatherium, a giant sloth species that went extinct after the last ice age. Today, locals firmly believe in the Mapinguari while scientists remain uncertain. Is it a mythical creature born from ancient legends? Or could there be a hidden giant sloth still roaming the depths of the remote rainforest? While the existence of the Mapinguari remains shrouded in myth, the Amazon rainforest throws up real mysteries too. 14. The Dead Humpback Whale of the Amazon River in February 2019, something strange happened along the shores of Marajo Island in the Amazon River. A young humpback whale, only a year old, was found dead, surprising scientists and locals alike. Humpback whales usually migrate to warmer waters in the Amazon basin during early winter, but this little whale was found later than expected and further upstream, where the river meets the Atlantic Ocean. What made the situation even more puzzling was that the whale had no visible injuries, ruling out poaching or whaling. This mystery left scientists scratching their heads, trying to figure out what went wrong. One theory suggests that the young whale got separated from its mom during an earlier migration. Weak and alone, it ended up being carried by strong off-season currents into the river's estuary. Once there, it might have gotten stuck in a mangrove swamp, unable to free itself due to its weakened state. Eventually, it succumbed to the freshwater environment. Another concern for scientists is the possibility that the whale ingested plastic waste near the shore, which could have contributed to its untimely death. Even though these theories seem likely, scientists are not completely sure about the exact sequence of events. This weird find shows how surprising things can be in the rainforest. And speaking of strange, check out the smoked mummies of Papua New Guinea. 13. Smoked Mummies of Papua New Guinea Have you ever heard of mummies created by smoke? In the tropical highlands of Papua New Guinea, the Anga tribe had their own way of mummifying the dead, quite different from the ancient Egyptians. Instead of using salt and spices, they used heat to remove moisture from the bodies. A British explorer named Charles Higginson documented this practice in 1907, but his portrayal of the anger as bloodthirsty savages might have been exaggerated. The anger tribe would hang dead bodies over a fire until they became charred. Then they would cut open the corpses at the knees, elbows and feet, and insert hollow bamboo poles to drain the blood and fluids. The fire helped dry out the remaining contents. Surprisingly, villagers collected the fluids and covered themselves in them as a way of mourning. The dried bodies were left outside to further dry, and then they were propped up on a cliff overlooking the village, symbolizing that the deceased was watching over the tribe. However, the reasons behind this unique mourning process 
remain unclear. Charles Higginson's negative portrayal of the anger might not be entirely accurate, as one anthropologist questioned why, if they were truly bloodthirsty, they didn't harm Higginson during his stay with them. Mummification ceased in 1949 when Christian missionaries arrived, and the practice is now a mystery, with the remaining mummies being cared for by the villagers. Those smoked mummies in Papua New Guinea are pretty strange, right? But wait till you hear about the missing birds of Barrow, Colorado. 12. The Bizarre Lost Birds of Barrow, Colorado. Barrow, Colorado Island in Panama used to be a thriving home for over 200 bird species. However, in the past century, around a quarter of these birds vanished, leaving scientists puzzled. What could cause so many feathered friends to fly the coop? The trouble began in 1914, when the Panama Canal was completed, causing nearby Gatun Lake's water level to rise rapidly and fill the valleys around Barrow, Colorado. In the 1980s, ecologists believed that the expanded lake might have led to fewer predators in the area. This, in turn, allowed mid-sized mammals like monkeys and cotis to flourish, potentially causing a decline in bird populations as these mammals often feed on bird eggs. However, this theory didn't solve the mystery completely. In 1994, Ecologist Douglas Robinson studied bird flight patterns on the island and discovered that many bird species were unlikely to fly away from the island. Surprisingly, video evidence revealed that monkeys and cotus weren't the culprits behind eating bird eggs. Instead, it was the local snake population that was raiding nests, a possibility that researchers hadn't considered before. Despite this discovery, more than 45 bird species had vanished from the island by 2,000. The snakes alone couldn't explain such a significant and rapid loss of biodiversity. While the loss of bird life on Barrow, Colorado Island is a sad story, it highlights the amazing adaptability of the Amazon rainforest. 11. The Walking Trees Did you know that in the Amazon rainforest, some trees have a secret talent. The walking trees in the Amazon rainforest aren't actually strolling around like in a fantasy story. Instead, it's a cool trick some trees, like the walking palm, use to survive. The walking palm has lots of thin roots coming out from its trunk, unlike most trees. These roots grow in the direction the tree wants, allowing it to slowly change its position over time. Why does it do this? Well, the Amazon ground isn't always great for trees. It can lack nutrients, and sunlight is sometimes scarce because of the thick tree cover above. By moving its roots towards better sunlight or richer soil, the walking palm improves its chances of staying healthy. This movement happens very slowly, taking months or even years, and you can't see it happening day by day. The tree does it by growing new roots on one side while letting old roots on the other side decay. This process leads to a gradual shift in direction. The walking palm isn't the only tree that does this, but it's one of the most famous examples. This special ability to adjust to its surroundings shows how nature in the Amazon rainforest has come up with amazing ways to deal with challenges. The Amazon is full of surprises, and some aren't just plant-based wonders. Just imagine a river so hot it can cook an egg. That's the reality of the boiling river. 10. The Boiling River. Imagine a steaming river winding through the lush Amazon rainforest. Not warm, mind you, but boiling. Believe it or not, this fiery phenomenon exists. They call it the Shanai Timpishka, or the Boiling River. The water starts out cool and refreshing, but deep beneath the jungle floor, geothermal vents heat it up. These vents are like cracks in Earth's crust that act like giant hot water heaters. By the time the water reaches the surface, sections of the river can be scalding, hot enough to cook an egg. The Shanai Timpishka is considered the world's largest documented thermal river, stretching for over 5.5 miles. But the mystery doesn't stop there. 
Local Ashaninka communities believe the boiling water is the work of Yakumama, a giant serpent spirit, the mother of the waters. Do you think there could be other boiling rivers hidden around the world? This incredible natural wonder raises many questions. How hot does the water get exactly? And how do creatures survive in such a place? Scientists are still exploring the secrets of the boiling river. The Amazon's geothermal wonders don't stop there. This vast rainforest is also home to some truly monstrous creatures, like the bird-eating spider. 9. Bird-eating spider. They say the Amazon rainforest holds all sorts of creepy crawlies, but what about a spider that lunches on birds? This monstrous arachnid isn't just any spider. It's the biggest in the world by weight, tipping the scales at a whopping six ounces that's heavier than a smartphone. With hairy legs spanning nearly a foot, it's easy to see why they call it a goliath. Despite the name, birds aren't actually their main course. They prefer plump rodents and juicy insects, but hey, the name sure is scary. Thankfully, these shy spiders are more interested in hiding in burrows than snatching swallows. They use special barbed hairs to defend themselves, but their venom isn't deadly to humans, just a bit touchy. Scientists are still learning about these fascinating creatures. How strong are their bites? How long do they live? The Amazon rainforest continues to reveal its secrets, one giant spider at a time. While the Goliath bird eater might sound like a fearsome predator, the Amazon is also home to some truly captivating creatures, like the pink dolphin, eight. Pink dolphin. The Amazon river dolphin, also known as the boto, is a truly unique species known for its magical pink color. Scientists aren't exactly sure why these dolphins are pink, but they believe it could be due to their blood vessels showing through their thin skin or a special chemical in their skin that protects them from the sun's rays. These fascinating creatures can grow up to eight feet long and weigh up to 350 pounds. They are an important part of the Amazon ecosystem, feeding on fish and helping to keep the river healthy. But their pink bodies aren't the only surprising thing about them. Botos are known for their intelligence and playful nature, They've even been spotted using tools. Would you ever want to swim with a pink dolphin? Let us know in the comments section. Sadly, these amazing creatures are facing threats from pollution and habitat loss. Conservation efforts are underway to protect them. The Amazon's dazzling colors don't stop with the pink dolphin. Deep within the rainforest lives another fascinating creature, the elusive Jaguarundi. Seven, the elusive Jaguarundi. Deep within the Amazon rainforest, there prowls a mysterious creature, the Jaguarundi. This shy cat is like a living myth, rarely seen but whispered about by researchers. They come in various shades, black, brown, or even reddish, and can be mistaken for jaguars or cougars, but don't be fooled. Jaguarundis are much smaller, reaching only about four feet in length. Jaguarundis are one of the few cat species that can be active both during the day and at night. They're like the ultimate cat about town, prowling whenever they please. These stealthy hunters are masters of disguise. They slink through the dense undergrowth, pouncing on unsuspecting rodents, lizards, and even snakes. Their lithe bodies allow them to squeeze through tight spaces, making them masters of the Amazonian maze. Have you ever seen a picture of a jaguarundi? These rare cats are like living shadows, rarely photographed in the wild. They say the Amazon rainforest holds all sorts of surprises, but what about a creature that can deliver a powerful electric shock? Six, the electric eel. The electric eel packs a punch of up to 600 volts, strong enough to knock out a horse. That's enough electricity to power a small light bulb. They use these jolts to stun their prey, which includes fish, frogs, and even small mammals. Believe it or not, electric eels aren't actually eels, but a type of knife fish. They have special organs in their bodies that act like living batteries. These organs make up most of their body weight and allow them to control their powerful electric discharges. 
Would you ever take a dip in the Amazon knowing electric eels might be lurking below? Electric eels are a living reminder of the amazing adaptations found in nature. Scientists are still studying how they generate such powerful electricity and how they use it to navigate their environment. The Amazon rainforest is home to all sorts of electric creatures, but some legends speak of even more fantastical inhabitants. Take, for instance, the whispers of the lost city of giants. Five, the lost city of giants. Deep in the emerald embrace of the Amazon rainforest, whispers of a legendary lost city echo through the ages. This isn't your typical lost city of gold and jewels, but one shrouded in a more fantastical mystery, a city built by giants. Imagine towering structures of stone, colossal beyond anything constructed by human hands. Legends speak of a civilization of beings far larger than any person alive today, and this lost city is their forgotten legacy. The Amazon rainforest is vast and unexplored. Many indigenous tribes still live there, untouched by modern civilization, and their stories and myths are often intertwined with the rainforest itself. Could there be a grain of truth to the legend? There have been explorers who claim to have stumbled upon evidence of giants in the Amazon. Giant footprints, massive tools, and unusual rock formations all fuel the speculation. While the legend of a lost city of giants is undeniably fascinating, the Amazon also boasts some very real creatures with impressive features. Four, the bird with a killer beak. In the Amazon rainforest lives a creature that looks like it crash-landed from the Jurassic period, the shoebill stork. Forget cute and cuddly, this bird is all business, with a giant shoe-shaped beak that could crack open a coconut or a small crocodile. Standing nearly four feet tall, the shoebill is Africa's tallest stork, though someone clearly forgot to tell them the Amazon is their new home. These solitary hunters lurk patiently in the shallows, waiting for lungfish, catfish, or even baby crocs to become their next meal. Their attack is lightning fast, a blur of sharp beak and powerful reflexes. And if that wasn't enough, their loud calls a mix of machine gun and grumpy donkey, echo through the swamps, a chilling reminder of their prehistoric past. The Amazon rainforest isn't afraid to show off its strange and wonderful birds. Another example is the recently discovered purple frog, a vibrant amphibian unlike anything scientists have seen before. Three, the purple frog. Scientists were stunned by recent footage from the Amazon rainforest. It captured a sight nobody believed existed, a bright purple frog hopping through the undergrowth. This discovery throws everything we thought we knew about rainforest frogs out the window. Most Amazonian frogs come in shades of brown, green or black, perfectly camouflaged against the lush foliage. So, a vibrant purple amphibian hopping around is like a disco ball in a library. It simply shouldn't be there. There are actually a few frog species in the world with some purple coloring, but a completely purple frog is unheard of. This Amazon discovery could rewrite the textbook on frog coloration. Nature is full of surprises, and the Amazon rainforest is a prime example. From electric eels to purple frogs, this wild place never ceases to amaze us. Another creature with some unbelievable features is the tarsia, a tiny primate with eyes like dinner plates. Two, the tarsier with eyes like dinner plates. Scientists recorded something mind-blowing, a tiny primate with eyes bigger than its stomach. This wasn't a scene from a cartoon. It was a real-life tarsia, a creature so strange it seems like it shouldn't exist. Tarsiers are the size of a small human hand, but their eyes are massive the biggest of any mammal relative to their body size. These enormous peepers help them see perfectly at night when they hunt insects in the rainforest canopy. Tarsiers can rotate their heads almost all the way around, like something out of an exorcist movie. This incredible flexibility gives them a nearly 360 degree view of their surroundings. But Tarsiers aren't just about their eyes. 
Their long, powerful legs allow them to leap incredible distances, sometimes over 40 times their body length. Imagine jumping across your entire living room in a single bound. That's how impressive these little acrobats are. The animal kingdom is full of fascinating adaptations, and the Vogelkop Gardener Bowerbird is a prime example. 1. The Vogelkop Gardener Bowerbird This medium-sized bird isn't exactly purple or leaping through the trees with giant eyes. But what it lacks in flamboyant colors, it makes up for in its impressive building skills. The Vogelkop is a type of bowerbird known for constructing elaborate bowers, fancy decorated nests to attract mates. Vogelkop bowers are like tiny nightclubs. They're decorated with colorful objects like feathers, berries, and even stolen trinkets to impress the ladies, or should we say, hens. These industrious birds are a dime a dozen in the Amazon. They're not flashy, but their dedication to building and their surprising artistic talents make them a wonder of the rainforest. What did you find most mind-blowing? Let us know in the comments below. And if you want to keep your jungle journey going, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more wild discoveries across the globe.